part two. Hello. Um, yeah, more important stuff. So, hopefully, won't make the same mistake that I made. Um, it's whether you are choosing a, an urban hermitage or place to live. Um, it's always worth uh, spending at least a year in the local town because even if there are good people there it might not feel like home not everywhere is home and uh, that can make a real difference as you can imagine as well as the obvious which is neighbours you know our neighbours I first moved on thought I was going to start a, a hippie community me? <laughs> uh, yeah so luckily for them that never happened um, but and they were they were very edgy for a while but uh, you know we sold them hay at a good price and uh, respected their quiet which is what they asked for uh, we didn't have big parties or anything like that, and uh, yeah, after a, two or three years, all was good. But neighbours are obviously important. Having two water sources, I've already mentioned, is very important. We've got a well, but as we're not doers, we're near the pooers, we, uh, you know, get the odd rat or what have you in there. So if you're... Uh, it's, it's worth having two two water sources at least. Um, if you want to cut down the amount of smoke, peel the bark off your twigs. Uh, whether you want to just stay covert and uh, have less smoke, or whether you want to save your lungs, it's it's worth doing. You can just keep a pile near 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 your fire pit, and when you feel like it, just peel the bark off. Quite a nice way to while away the time. Um, and uh, good luck. You'll be learning the art of appreciation, no doubt. Which is a beautiful thing to learn. To appreciate the small. A wonderful Taoist master once said that is the secret of happiness. and There's a lot to that. The amount of insects and the that's the one thing I'll miss, the incredible amount of insects and wildlife that suddenly appeared as the land was starting to recover and rewild. Um, from barn owls, newts, um, lizards, amazing glowworms, all sorts. And which leads me to the next bit, which again is very important to consider. Are you an artist? Are you broad-minded? That's great. That's what the, uh, what, the, what the world needs. But if you're going to be a lone bee, you need practical skills as well. You can't be just right hemisphere, right brains. You've got to be left as well. You've got to be good at electrics and building. At least building. <laughs> I mean, literally, we've had no electricity. Got a few uh, broken uh, solar panels and dead batteries, but yeah, it's it's really uh, worth considering who are you and what your skills are. And uh, optimism is great. Reality is is better. So um, if you're going to loan be it, loan, lo the loan bees have so many skills. That, that the hive bees, um, you know, hive bees have their own jobs, little cogs in the whole machine. Obviously, communities, people are the hardest part. If you uh, if you get one rabbit, we're still talking Winnie the Pooh here. You get one rabbit, can mess the whole thing up, unless they're broad-minded, which is rare. Met, I've met one broad-minded rabbit, and they're amazing, but so rare. Winnie the Poohs in groups can get stuff together if they're honest and good people, good of heart, 
and motivated you can motivate each other and you can achieve most things but on your own it can be tough or just two of you so good luck much love there may be another video or comments below if there's other things that I've remembered <laughs>